Hi everyone, welcome back to Queen G's Recipes and today we are going to be making these delicious peanut butter blossoms. They are so easy to make, very delicious, and they're perfect for the holidays. Now before we move on with the recipe, I would like to mention if you're interested in looking us up on TikTok or Instagram, the links will be in the description box below. and. If you're interested in any of the products or bakeware that we have throughout any of our videos, our link to our Amazon storefront will be in the description box as well, along with the recipe. So let's get started with the recipe. Okay, so into our bowl, we are going to add in our butter. Make sure it's at room temperature, okay? Then we will add in our creamy peanut butter, right? We will also add in our sugar and our brown sugar. And we are going to cream these ingredients together with a hand mixer for about five to seven minutes. Okay, so you just want to mix just until combined. That's um, all you want to do, don't over mix. And now what we're going to do is we are going to sift in our flour and we will also sift in our salt, baking powder and baking soda. Now we mix just until combined. Make sure that you don't over mix once adding in your dry ingredients. And you also want to make sure you have your oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and that you have a couple of cookie sheets lined with some parchment paper. So let's get to mixing. Okay, so once you have everything combined, you are ready to make your cookies. Now, I just wanted to mention one thing. When making your dough, just make sure as you go along that you're scraping the bottom inside so that all the ingredients are well mixed together. So that's about it. I am going to use a small ice cream scoop. Okay, and this is going to help form our cookies and make them all the same size. So I already have my cookie sheet here lined with parchment paper. Right, I have my oven preheated and we are ready to go. Okay, so I just removed my cookies from the oven. They baked for exactly 10 minutes. They usually take between 10 and 12 minutes. So you just want to keep an eye on them. Once they start to become a light golden brown around the edges, then you know they are baked. They are piping hot and they just came out of the oven. So what you want to do now is take some Hershey Kisses. So I've already removed the foil. So now take your Hershey's and just gently press into the center of the cookie. You want to do this as soon as they come out of the oven. Okay. Okay, so you want to let your cookies cool a bit on the pan, so probably four or five minutes, and then you want to place them on a cooling rack and allow them to cool completely. Once they've cooled completely, we are ready to eat them. Okay, so my cookies baked at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes. And as I mentioned, once you start to notice they are a light golden brown around the edges, then they are baked. So as soon as they come out, you want to place your Hershey Kisses. You don't want to wait. And that's pretty much it. They've been cooling here for a little while and now they are definitely ready to be eaten. So let's try one. The cookies are soft and chewy. They're amazing. They are so good. And the chocolate melts on the top, but as soon as you allow them to completely cool, then they will just stay firm as a Hershey Kiss on top and will be wonderful. I promise you that. I hope you guys make these for the holidays. Hope you make them for your family and friends. And that's pretty much it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye everyone.